Hi. So today I'll be speaking on Dak Prescott and the ongoing contract negotiations between him and the Dallas Cowboys. Dak Prescott is the Dallas Cowboys quarterback uh, in the National Football League, the NFL. Dak was selected in the fourth round with the 135th pick uh, of the 2016 draft by the Cowboys. Since taking over from Tony Romo in 2016, Dak has led the Cowboys to two postseasons. In 2016, his winning record with the Cowboys was 13-3. And, and uh, since 2016, uh, his personal playing record with the Cowboys was 40-24. and 24. That means he's won 40 games and lost 24. In 2019, Dak had a career year with 4,900 passing yards, uh, coming second in the passing campaign that year. Dak has also won one postseason game. Over the past four years, under Dak's round four uh, NFL contract, Dak has made $4 million across four seasons. That is a gross underpayment for the level of production that Dak has provided for the Cowboys over the past four years. Uh, Dak is currently under a franchise tag at $31.4 million. This is a franchise tag uh, is the accumulated average annual value of the top five highest paid quarterbacks in the National Football League. In comparison, in 2016, two other quarterbacks were drafted ahead of Dak. Those are Carson Wentz and Jared Goff. Carson Wentz currently is under contract for 32 million rand a million dollars per season and uh, Jared Goff is under contract at 33.5 million dollars compared to Dak's uh, 4 million dollars which is he was expected to make in 2020 before he uh, got offered the franchise tag by the Dallas Cowboys Overall, Dak's uh, passer completion percentage is 65.8%, Carson Wentz's is 638 and uh, Jared Goff's is 62.4. Dak's passing yards are 15,800, Carson Wentz is at 14,000, and Jared Goff is at 14,002. Dak's touchdown to interception ratio is 97. To 35. That means he's scored 97 t passing touchdowns and he's thrown 36 interceptions. Carson Wentz is 97 and 35, and Jared Goff is a mere 87 and 42. Dak's passer rating over the past four seasons is 97. Carson Wentz is a 92.7, and Jared Goff is a 91.9. This just displays um, the level of productivity that uh, Dak Prescott has over Carson Wentz, who was the number two overall pick, and Jared Goff, who was the number one overall pick in that draft. Now, Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones uh, of the Cowboys Executive Committee have stated that Dak has benefited from a good offensive line, great wide receivers, and Ezekiel Elliott, their bashing running back. Uh, and also the fact that Dak uh, would get financial compensation because of his image likeness as being a quarterback for the uh, Dallas Cowboys franchise, which is regarded as America's team. Personally, I say that Dak Prescott is undervalued and underpaid by the Dallas Cowboys, um, merely because he's had a terrible uh, coach and um, the Cowboys have had a bad defense too. Dak has definitely benefited from having a fantastic supporting cast around him. However, the 31.4 million franchise tag value is too low for him. Um, last week, Chris Sims reported that uh, the Cowboys offered Dak a five-year, $175 million contract, which, he, which Sims stated that he turned down. However, Ian Rappaport of ESPN stated that uh, this is not true. Um, both tax representation and the Dallas Cowboys have denied these facts. The Dallas Cowboys are in the current predicament where they would not like to pay Dak what he deserves because of the salary cap which prevents them from spending um, 
a certain uh, above a certain amount for their team every year. Dak Prescott is worth more than the uh, $35 million that Russell Wilson is currently getting. Uh, not because he's a better player, but just because he's the next one up. Uh, he's been productive and he's still young and there's a, a lot for him in the future. The Cowboys should have signed Dak Prescott before Carson Wentz and Dak Prescott signed their Carson Wentz and Jared Goff signed their extensions. This would have offered the Cowboys an opportunity to give Dak Prescott a much lower contract, uh, a much cheaper contract, which would have been uh, more beneficial for the Cowboys' salary cap. However, they decided to wait, and now we have the commencement of the um, 2018 MVP. Patrick Mahomes' uh, contract deal negotiations. This is not necessarily going to affect Dak Prescott's um, contract too much. As we know, Patrick Mahomes should be getting close to uh, between 45 and $50 million annually. However, if Patrick Mahomes signs his contract extension before Dak Prescott, that will only push Dak's perceived value higher. So. In essence, the Cowboys uh, are looking for a hometown discount deal um, and Dak is uh, just not going to give it to them. And why should he? He's been productive and underpaid.